All right, let's do a little bit of shoulder rehab using elastic resistance. So I'm going to hold my tube about shoulder width apart, palms up. Keep those elbows tight as you externally rotate your hands out. I'm going to hold, put that handle through my hand just so it doesn't keep flopping around. There we go. All right, so two, three, four. Now, as I do this, I'm keeping my elbows as tight to my waist as possible. That bottom, keep it under. Think about squeezing that butt tight. Perfect posture, ears over shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. I know that doesn't sound like it has anything to do with your shoulders, but posture is everything. All right, almost there. Now, we're gonna do it shoulder width again, palms down. Stretch that tube across your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Same thing with that posture. Keep your hip bones pointing forward. Don't arch your back. Don't move your rib cage around. All about the muscles behind the shoulder and between the shoulder blades. Let's do three, two, one, and hold it. Now take it behind your head and in front while you're pulling it apart the whole time, okay? Keep pulling that tube apart. Shoulders down. Do not lift your shoulders up and down. Keep those hip bones pointing forward. Squeeze that bottom tight. And the neck as long as possible. Ears away from your shoulders. Let's do two more. One more. And back to external rotation, palms up. All right, palms up, elbows tight, open. Now really work that external rotation out here, not here. I already know you're tight here, I already know you're strong here. Let's work way out here where we are weak. Ugh. All right, right between the shoulder blades, keep them tight, and you can feel this right behind the actual shoulder itself. And hold. Palms down, shoulder distance apart, stretch across the chest. Again, squeeze the shoulder blades together, moving through the back of the shoulder, opening up that chest every single time. Three, two, one, up and over. Five of these. That's two, three, four, and five. All right, third round. 10, 10, and five. Palms up, elbows tight. Really working that outside range of motion. Hip bones forward, hold that head high. Tens are number here. Woo! Yeah. All right, palms down, shoulder distance apart, stretch across the chest, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, oh burn, 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 and one, two, Three, four, and five. All right. Okay, moving on. Still use our tube. Take this somewhere, like I'm gonna use the bar, vertical bar, from my bike. You can also, sounds funny, but I use a wooden spoon right here, put it in a door, shut the door. So the anchor is on the inside of like, let's say the closet or bathroom door, and it's anchoring it inside so that we could use this portion of the tube. But if you happen to have a bike around, the neck is great. So we're gonna hold on one handle each hand, balance on one foot. Stand on your right foot, elbows wide, 
L and make sure there's no, it's not loose, it's tight. Not out here tight, not stretch, but just tight. Balance on one foot, squeeze shoulder blades together, elbows high. And we've got five of those. Two, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three, four, one more, five, and switch. Now the reason why we're doing this on one foot is you can't cheat. Two feet, I could use my body weight and lean back without even realizing it. One more. But if you notice that your balance is a little off, then you know you would have been inclined to cheat had you been on two feet. So we did five on right foot, five on the left foot. Yeah. All right, moving on. We're gonna hold on to these tubes, keep it in the door, keep it on the handle, right across the body. Bring that elbow to your waist. Balance again and externally rotate. Five, I lied, 10, two, woo, three, four, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we've done external rotation. We've moved that shoulder with our palms up, our palms down. Now our palm is in neutral. Holding on to those handles, turn. I'm gonna put my back to you, but I'm trusting you. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and uh, ten. Back two, standing row, one foot balance, elbows high. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, external rotation. One, two, we have 10 of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and switch. One, two, keep that elbow tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. All right, last round. Squeeze. Shoulder blades together, elbows high, palms down. Two more. One more. And switch. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And bring that elbow. See how my arm's straight? Pull it so that your elbow's bent. 90 degree angle, one, two, balance, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and switch. Bend that elbow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. All right, so that was really targeting our rotator cuff specifically. Now let's get the whole shoulder girdle working together. On your elbows or on your forearms, we're going to do scapular push-ups. Tuck your toes under. Again, looking for a straight line from your ears, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles. Get that butt down, squeeze it tight. Push the ground away. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So make sure that low back is not arched, it's not sagging, it's up high and tight. Now on your hands and knees, open those feet nice and wide, and we're going to do one arm up to the sky and switch. Two, three, don't rush, four, hand directly underneath that shoulder, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and our last plank, reverse fingertips facing your hips, and lift your bottoms up, one, two, really opening up the front of that shoulder, three, four, five, six, squeeze those glutes, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. All right, back to your forearms, scapular push-ups. Elbows down, straighten those legs, tuck the hips under, so you have a straight line from your ears to the shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles. No sagging in the hips, no piking in the hips. Squeeze that bottom tight. Push the ground away from the forearms and elbows. Keep that butt tight. Three, two, and one. Now, on those hands. If you want to make these alternating T's more challenging, bring your feet closer together. So the further out the feet are, the easier it is to balance. Closer, the harder, more challenging. Get that shoulder directly over the hand or place your hand directly underneath the shoulder. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Reverse planks, take a seat, fingertips facing your hips, bottoms up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. All right, last round, elbows, forearm plank, extend those legs out, shoulders over the elbows, get the butt tight. Again, watch your positioning, abs tight, push the ground away. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and on your hands for plank. So to make it even more challenging, we could stack our feet one on top of the other when we rotate. If you're not ready, this is fine. This is a little bit harder, but here is hardest. All right, two, don't rush it. Three, make that shoulder work. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and 
10. Oh, that got close. Fingertips facing the butt. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. All right. So I do not want you to stretch your shoulder like this. We're going to stretch our shoulder backwards. Grab a wall. So if I'm at the center of the wall, my hands are at 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Rotate away, stretching the front of the shoulder, not the back of the shoulder. Open, open, open that chest, stretching the front of the shoulder. Can't say it enough. Now, go a little bit lower or even a little bit higher until you find that spot that is particularly tight on you. Everybody's spot is different, mine's right there. Two o'clock and 10 o'clock tends to be exactly where I'm tightest. Switch sides and rotate away from that arm. Keep rotating, rotating, rotating. Now again, don't, I know it feels good to stretch across, do not do it. We spend all day long in a stretch position across the body. Everything we do all day long, sitting at a desk, driving, whatever, everything's in front, so it's already stretched. That's why you probably have tears, all right? The back of your shoulder hurts, probably got a lot of little tears going on. Nothing necessarily worthy of surgery. Don't be frightened. So we are stretching the opposing side, trying to get that humerus, that arm bone, in the right spot in the center of the shoulder joint, all right? Being pulled forward all day puts a strain on those muscles in back and also impinges some of the nerves in that socket. So we gotta get that humerus, that arm bone, right in the center so it's coming out of the middle of the socket, not against one of the sides. Okay, now on your side. Squeeze that butt, extend the spine. Oh, open, open, open the chest. Shoulders down and back, lengthen the neck. This is not right, this is right. So I really want you pushing the ground away with the heels of your hands. Be active with that upper body and with your hands. Push back child's pose. Take your arms over to the right and stretch the left side of your lats. Stay there. Again, if you have tight lats, your lats are attached to your arm bone. So if they're tight, it's pulling down. And then again, we're worried about it hitting the bone in the socket, hitting other nerves or even other tendons and ligaments. So stretch your latissimus dorsi. Uh, I love this stretch. It feels amazing. And switch sides. And center. So we're in our child's pose. Center, what I want you to do is slide forward, 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 forward. Drop your forehead or your chin down and then let your rib cage sink to the floor. So we're really opening up the lats and the chest and the rib cage. And hips back on your heels. Come on up to your knees. Circle your shoulders back. Three, open the chest. Two, one, take a deep breath up. Out, big social distance hug. And I'll see you for the next stretch. <laughs>